Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hello everybody, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. We're going to talk about a first in-kind human trials for a new drug for diabetics called CNP-103. Core Pharma is the company that's developing this. They have some interesting insights and I think you're going to find this uh, very fascinating. So we got the whole story for you. Hit the like and subscribe. Also, for those of you who are also YouTube creators, uh, right now uh, I'm going to tell you about something that we use called vidIQ. It has really helped our channel grow. If you're interested in finding out about this, go to the homepage, click on the link vidIQ. They give you a 30 day uh, no cost trial so you can navigate through this. It helps you build thumbnails. It uh, gives you ideas for scripts. It's really a very clever tool. I've been using it for about a year and a half and I like it a lot. So if you're interested, check that out. Alrighty, let's talk about CNP-103 and Core Pharma. Core Pharma Dose's first patient in clinical trial, evaluating CNP-103 in people recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. What is this about? On August 19, 2025, Core Pharma announced that they've dosed the first patient in a Phase 1b2a clinical trial evaluating CNP-103, a novel tolerogenic nanoparticle therapy targeting recently diagnosed type 1 diabetes, specifically, stage 3 T1D within the past six months. What is CNP-103? CNP-103 is a biodegradable nanoparticle encapsulating four recombinant proteins, preproinsulin, G865, IGRP, Zan T8, covering over 95% of known antigens that drive T1D. The therapy aims to induce antigen-specific immune tolerance, retraining the immune system to stop attacking insulin-producing B cells, a disease-modifying strategy rather than just managing symptoms. Trial design highlights. Phase 1B42A, first in human for CNP-103. Population, individuals aged 12 to 35, both pediatric 12 to 17 and adult 18 to 35, who were diagnosed with stage 3 T1D within the previous 180 days and have C-peptide levels greater than 0.2 nemolia. Dosing, participants receive IV infusions of either CNP-103 or placebo on day 1, day 8 and day 90. Duration, total involvement is about 208 days, including screening and follow-up. Goals. Assess safety, tolerability, pharmacodynamics, and early signals of efficacy, especially preservation of beta cell function via C-peptide maintenance, according to Core Pharma. There are currently no FDA-approved disease-modifying therapies for stage 3 T1D, newly diagnosed. This trial addresses a critical unmet need by attempting to halt autoimmune base cell destruction, the strategy to induce immune tolerance to specific antigens rather than suppressing the entire immune system, represents a more targeted and potentially safer approach. In February 2025, Core Pharma obtained FDA clearance for the investigational new drug IND application of CNP-103, clearing the way for this trial. Here's a clear breakdown of how CNP-103 works. 1. The core idea. Retraining the immune system. In type 1 diabetes, T1D, the immune system mistakenly identifies certain proteins on beta cells, insulin-producing cells, as dangerous and destroys them. CMP-103 doesn't suppress the whole immune system, like standard immunosuppressants. Instead, it's designed to teach the immune system to tolerate these specific proteins, so it stops attacking beta cells. Number 2. The Technology – Tolerogenic Nanoparticles CMP-103 uses biodegradable nanoparticles, made of a safe polymer called PLGA, has delivery vehicles. These nanoparticles encapsulate four key autoantigens that the immune system typically targets in T1D. 3. Mechanism of action in the body. IV infusion and uptake. After infusion, the nanoparticles are rapidly taken up by liver and spleen macrophages, immune cells that clear debris. Immune reprogramming. When these macrophages process the nanoparticles, they present the antigens to T cells in a non-inflammatory, tolerogenic context. 
This tricks the immune system into seeing the proteins as self, not enemy. The therapy promotes the expansion of regulatory T cells, TREGs, that dampen autoimmune attack. It reduces the activity of autoreactive T cells that normally attack base cells. 4. Why this approach is different. Targeted, not blanket immunosuppression avoids broad immune suppression risks, e.g. infections, cancer risk. Multi-antigen coverage addresses the diversity of autoimmune targets in T1D, unlike earlier single antigen approaches that often failed. Durability potential. Retraining the immune system may lead to lasting tolerance, not just temporary beta cell protection. In short, CNP-103 is like a peace treaty in a capsule. It delivers the very proteins the immune system mistakenly attacks, but in a way that tells immune cells, this is normal, don't fight it. If it works, it could preserve insulin-producing cells and fundamentally change T1D treatment. Strengths. Clinically validated to delay onset in at-risk individuals, simple short-course dosing can reset autoreactivity. If beta cells are already severely depleted, cell replacement, hip, or encapsulated islets becomes essential. Pairing tolerance strategies with replacement could ultimately offer the best chance at durable insulin independence without chronic immunosuppression. In summary, CMP-103 is a first-in-class nanoparticle therapy designed to retrain the immune system and slow or stop autoimmune destruction of beta cells in type 1 diabetes. The trial marks the first in human dosing of this therapy in newly diagnosed T1D patients and aims to assess safety and early signs of efficacy. Success here could transform T1D treatment by moving past insulin replacement to disease-modifying intervention. Okay, it's uh, Core Pharma and CNP103. We're going to follow up on this. I think the takeaway here is it's a, uh, a common and recurring theme of taking, in this case, these proteins, or in other cases with other companies, regenerating re-engineering your own beta cells, your own islet cells, whether they are already in your body and need retraining, that's the term that was used here, retraining and disguising them from attack. Either way, whether it is for newly diagnosed diabetics like Core Pharma is working on, or whether it's for the rest of us who have had diabetes for some time, this technology is probably going to bear fruit sooner or later. And uh, it's fascinating. You're just re-engineering part of your body, your DNA, and basically saying to the immune system, hey, hands off. These are not foreign cells. These are our friendly cells. And uh, that's that. Stay away from them. Don't destroy them. It's that simple. Simple might be the wrong word to use here because this is very complex stuff, but uh, it's very encouraging and it's nice to know several companies are working on this. I hope you got something out of that. We'll have another exciting video for you here in the days ahead here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Bye for now.